Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy who was in though, and we back talking sports. I'm tired of the lies, y'all. I told y'all I wasn't gonna do no more LeBron James videos, but fuck that. I'm tired of y'all lying. I just had a whole argument with a guy. Look what he said. LeBron clearly did not have the same explosiveness throughout the playoffs. He was grimacing every time he went to the basket and ran out of gas, so on, so, so, so on, and so forth, bro. This is six months ago during the season where they had just lost. This is literally like. Yeah, this is literally a couple months ago during the season. Not even the playoffs hadn't even started yet. Now listen to what he say. The injury you're dealing with. The injury I was dealing with. I tore a tendon in my foot. And that's normally longer than a four-week recovery process. It is. When, when did you get a sense of you, you would have a, a plan to get you back faster than, than what the normal kind of uh, routine is on that um, when the doctors told me I was uh, healing faster than anybody I've seen before with the injury did anyone ever suggest surgery um, yeah two doctors why did you decide against it because I went to LeBron James of feet what <laughs> y'all heard what he's saying bro he said he tore a tendon in his foot right the reporter says that takes longer than four weeks. He said he went to the LeBron James of feet, which I don't know what the hell that means. What does that mean? What does that mean you went to the LeBron James of feet? So you went to a guy who... I don't even want to say that on YouTube. I can't even say that on YouTube. But y'all know what I mean. Because if that's in doctor terms, that means that... You went to a doctor who a lot of his patients are you know what and he has more of those than he do successful surgeries. So I'm not understanding, bro. Now, months later, shout out to Two Raw because he said this. Now, months later, months later, Now, oh, LeBron is looking like uh, third, fourth year LeBron. No, he's not. Because if he is, he better make the all-defensive team. He better average 25, 30 points, 9, 10 rebounds, 9, 10 assists, and he better make the uh, all-defensive team. Because if he don't, then he not looking like fourth, fifth year LeBron. He's not. Y'all still y'all saying, oh, he still look like prime LeBron. He's not in his prime no more. He hasn't been in his prime for a long time. He's just so great that his past his prime is better than a lot of players. But this right here, come on, bro. You told me I should. <laughs> the, um, did any... And he told me I should. You heard him, right? Because I went to LeBron James of feet. What? what? He told me I should. <laughs> the um, did any? Uh, I'm not done. Nah. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> are, are you gonna did, need surgery on this after this season? Um, I don't know. Um, right now I don't need it, so uh, we we'll see what happens. Um, I'll probably get another MRI at the end of the season, and uh, and go from there. Um, but if I get if I end up having to get surgery um, after the season, you guys won't know. I don't talk to you guys in all season, and by the time next season start, I'll be fine. I'll be ready to go. What country is the LeBron James defeat based on? No. What country is that? I don't know. I have no idea. This guy's a clown. So, so let's say he had the surgery, right? He said you guys won't know, right? But you just said. You went to the LeBron James of feet and he said you don't need the surgery.
You see what I'm saying? They're trying to blame all his failures last year on his foot. But what about the 2021? What about 2022? His foot wasn't hurt then. Yo, LeBron fans make the most excuses for this dude, bro. Next, he was hurt. His foot, bro. He said he, they said they he healed faster than anybody ever with that injury. This is last season. This is not nowhere near the playoffs. This is last season. Y'all lie so much, bro. Uh, you're telling me that two doctors said he should have surgery and no one talked about it? That's a pretty big deal. And he went to the LeBron James of feet? Holy cringe. And decided not to? He also said he doesn't even know what country this doctor's in. You had to go see this doctor to get your foot evaluated and you don't know where he is? You should at least know something about him. I mean, he's the LeBron James of doctors. And to put the icing on the cake, he was asked if he would consider surgery down the road. And his response is, if I do, you won't hear about it. It will be in the off season and I'll be fine next season. Well, how convenient. You're gonna know exactly when you would have surgery. You're gonna know when your recovery time is and you're gonna know that no one else is gonna hear about it. Oh my God. And on top of that, the playoffs are ahead. You have no idea what your ankle is going to be like during the playoffs. So how do you know that you're not going to need surgery for the entire playoffs? Oh, because you don't need surgery. You never needed surgery. And you're not going to need surgery in the offseason. That's why we're not going to hear about it. I'm going to assume that he's at least telling the truth about the torn tendon in his foot. All LeBron had to say was that he recovered ahead of schedule He's happy to be back on the court, and he's glad to be playing with his teammates. But instead, he had to make up this whole story and make it so dramatic and add all these extra doctors and surgeries that he didn't need. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the... So he said he didn't need surgery, but you know when you're going to have surgery and you know nobody else is going to hear about it. All that happened was he tore a tendon in his foot. He healed, apparently, faster than anybody. He started getting his ass whooped and got swept. Then it was, ah, ah, I'm going to retire. Ah, I'm, not, I'm not, oh, my foot, my foot, my foot. Man, get out of here, bro. Just stop it, bro. Like, it's really sad. And you fans are enabling this shit. His fans enable all of this. Because they make so many excuses for this dude. I've not seen more excuses made for a player in history, bro. It's sad. Like, share, subscribe, man. Shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? That like to tell the truth. Because this is just ridiculous, bro. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, bro. I just showed y'all. I just showed y'all what my man said. Basically just making, like, come on, bro. You're making excuses, bro. You're making excuses. You're making excuses. 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 He didn't ran out of, he didn't ran out of gas in his prime. What are you talking about? I didn't see him run out of gas in his prime. 08, 09, 2010. Choking. Falling over everywhere. He ran out of gas in 2018. He ran out of gas in 2017. What are we talking about, bro? But we're not talking about that. He lied about this, bro. Blatantly lied to reporters, bro. You tore the tendon. You went to the LeBron James defeat. You don't know where the doctor is at. Oh, when I, if I get uh, surgery, it's going to be in the off season. And you guys won't know about it. Of course, because you planned all this out. But I thought you healed faster than anybody that they ever seen with the injury. So if you healed before the playoffs last season, that would give you enough time into the playoffs from then to the Western Conference Finals. 
So make up your mind. That's another excuse from the excuse man. I'm out. Peace.